our narcissist evil. To determine whether or not narcissists are evil, we first need to look at how we are defining the word evil. If we are defining evil as a supernatural force, referred to in certain religious contexts, then it becomes difficult to prove that narcissists are evil. But if we look at the definition of evil in a general sense, it is the opposite or absence of good. Good is usually used to indicate something that would be considered desirable. Evil is something immoral and wicked. Something which does not conform to the accepted standards of morality. Something intended to, or capable of, harming someone or something. In this sense, yes, narcissists most definitely are evil. Every intention, action and behaviour of the narcissist could be considered harmful or unfavourable for the people around them. They hate and envy anything good that is happening for anyone else. In this sense, they are the opposite or absence of good and their actions and behaviours can be considered to be immoral and wicked. They do not conform to the accepted standards of morality. So when we look at the definition of evil in a general sense, narcissists are evil. If we look at narcissists from a spiritual perspective and my personal belief of what happens is that they entertain negativity. They entertain negative energy. This is what they give most of their attention and consideration to. It provides them with amusement and enjoyment. They can't get the same fulfilment from positivity or positive energy. They have to entertain negative energy, negative things. Things like hatred, anger, envy, jealousy, discontentment, abuse, manipulation, deception, lying, cheating, stealing. These are their distinguishing qualities and characteristics. Their usual, normal and habitual behaviours. They engage in these types of behaviours every day, to the point where it becomes a part of their character and personality. When you give most of your thoughts and emotions to a certain type of energy, that is what builds your dominant character and personality. They give so much of their thoughts and emotions to negative energy that it creates a negative character and personality. That is what causes them to engage in behaviours such as abuse, manipulation, deception, lying, cheating and stealing. While a person who predominantly engages in positive thinking and experiences emotions of happiness, joy, peace and love is going to have a different type of energy. They are not going to engage in those types of negative behaviours which are established from entertaining negative energy, negative thoughts and emotions they are going to have a different attitude to particular issues. They are not going to deal with these issues in the same way.
That doesn't mean that these two types of attitudes will not deal with the same or similar situations. It just means that they will handle those situations differently and have a different outcome. A person who engages in abuse, manipulation, deception, lying, cheating and stealing is one who believes that they have to trick or use other people to get their needs met. They have the belief that the situation they are dealing with cannot be resolved in an honest or positive way. This belief is created from them entertaining negative thoughts and emotions which creates a hopeless mentality and a hopeless situation where they feel that they have to resort to negative behaviours to get their needs met. While a person who entertains positive thoughts and emotions who might be dealing with the same or a similar situation will have the belief that the situation can be resolved in an honest or positive way. Again, this belief is created from the thoughts and emotions that they are entertaining. But in this case, the thoughts and emotions are more positive. The person who entertains the positive thoughts and emotions is more likely to deal with the situation in an honest or positive way and therefore is more likely to have a positive outcome. These attitudes and beliefs are established from the thoughts that they are consistently thinking and their emotions. When a person is always thinking about something negative before anything positive, it creates a person who is constantly troubled or distracted, which then leads to behaviours that are more dysfunctional and unpredictable. It creates an environment which is unpredictable, which is more likely to change or fail. It creates an environment which is likely to be more unpleasing, one which is inconsistent and not in any form of agreement. Because the person that is entertaining these negative thoughts and emotions is always bringing in some form of disturbance or problems which interrupt an event, activity or process. These negative thoughts and emotions lead to dysfunctional and unpredictable behaviours which disrupt the natural flow or balance of the situation. Evil energy is something that might be considered to be very low, something less than what is desired or expected. It affects the ability to move freely and easily. It prevents the process of development, growth or change. It's like being sucked into a whirlpool. A powerful circular current of water which pulls you down just by being around it. It sucks you in and it can involve you without your choosing. You get pulled deeper into it and it pulls you down beneath the surface of where you might desire to be. It suffocates you. It causes you to have difficulty breathing. It causes you to feel trapped and oppressed. It causes you distress and anxiety. It's not something that you would desire to be around. But it can often suck you in without you realising until it's too late and you've already been pulled into it to the point where it has an effect on you. The more that they entertain these negative thoughts and emotions, the more likely it is that these thoughts and emotions will then lead to actions. They begin to express these ideas, qualities and feelings 
which are based on that negative energy and it begins to create a lifestyle, a way in which they live. It creates a habit, a settled or regular tendency or practice, which is very difficult for them to give up. It creates this low energy, which affects the ability to move freely and easily and prevents the process of development, growth or change. And wherever they go, it causes the people around them to get pulled into it too. It involves them and sucks them in without their choosing. It pulls them in deeper and deeper, often without them realizing until it's too late. And they have begun to entertain these negative thoughts and emotions which have then led to actions. The actions then lead to habits, a settled or regular tendency or practice. And from that point on, it begins to control the particular way in which they work or operate. It controls the way in which they fulfill a purpose or task. Negative energy is very dense and compact. It is packed closely together, which makes it very thick and heavy. It has a strong force in which it can pull you in a certain direction. It can pull you off your natural, desired or expected course or path. Even a person who was once positive can be pulled into this negative way of thinking and into having this, these negative emotions. Because negative energy is very dense and compact, it pulls you in and it pulls the positive energy out of you. It can cause you to feel drained of your life and energy. It can cause anxiety, stress and depression. Because the basic or inherent features, the character or qualities of that person causes or produces those results, they create those consequences or outcomes. The negative thoughts and emotions that you experience occur or follow as a consequence of being around them. You become the energy that you entertain. You become the energy that you give attention or consideration to. If the energy that you are giving your attention or consideration to is negative, that is what you will become. The negative emotions attract the negative energy. They begin to adopt the qualities or features regarded as the characteristics or inherent parts of the negative energy field that you have been pulled into. By entertaining the negative thoughts and emotions, by giving their attention or consideration to them, then it creates a mindset, an established set of attitudes where they will constantly look for evidence of the negative beliefs which they possess, which have established from, the, from entertaining the negative thoughts and emotions, which develop from being around that type of energy. This can cause them to develop a tendency to be easily hurt, worried or offended, or even an extreme physical sensitive, sensitivity to particular substances or conditions. It begins to slowly destroy or weaken them gradually while still keeping them confined to that environment and that level of vibration. 
it keeps them stuck, fixed in a particular position where they are unable to move. They become unable to progress with a task or find the answer or solution. They begin to accept or tolerate this unpleasant energy, this unpleasant person or situation. Even though it was something they would have previously found to be something difficult or disagreeable. Until they change their thoughts, feelings, emotions and behaviour, they will remain in this energy. They will remain around these unpleasant people or in these types of situations and they will contaminate anyone that they come into contact with. A positive person cannot remain in a healthy state of happiness and contentment around these types of people. It all starts in the mind and how you feel about things. It is your thoughts and emotions which then determine your behaviours. And depending on whether your thoughts and emotions are negative or positive, that will determine your success. Narcissists may portray an act of happiness and contentment on the surface, but inside they are very angry, hateful people. Most of the anger and hatred which they possess is towards themselves. And it is these negative emotions which then lead to their behaviours. This is what causes them to abuse and manipulate people, deceive, lie, cheat, steal. For them to change their behaviours, they would have to change their thoughts and emotions. They would have to reflect things that are more pleasing and consistent, more in agreement, which would then produce a most positive state of happiness and contentment. They would be more at peace, more thankful and grateful. But this doesn't happen because they entertain negative energy. They entertain negative thoughts and emotions. Everywhere they go, they carry this energy with them. For them to remove this energy, they, they would have to consistently stop what they are doing. They would have to change their behaviours. But they don't. They continue to engage in negative and dysfunctional behaviours, which is what causes them to remain in this energy. This is what causes them to remain in a world which produces the hatred, anger, envy and jealousy. The negative energy causes them to experience these types of emotions and these emotions then lead to the negative and dysfunctional behaviours. Whatever they choose to entertain, that then becomes their reality. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcs Fiverr store where you can purchase your own Narcs Fiverr t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.